Hello, welcome to Learn to Code. Today we're starting in uh, Chapter 1, Commands, and we're doing Activity Number 1, Issuing Commands. Hopefully you've all watched the introduction, so let's get started. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that on the left here, there is a description of what we need to do in this activity, including a goal. The goal you'll need to complete in order to move on to the next activity. Uh, and uh, there's a space on the bottom of the left-hand panel where you can enter your uh, commands or your code, your Swift code. On the right-hand side is the puzzle itself. So let's take a look at what you can do with this puzzle here. Uh, first of all, if you need a better look around, I'm going to tap on the screen on the right-hand side and swipe left and swipe right to see different parts of the world that Byte lives in. This will often help us uh, get to any gems we need to get to in order to complete the puzzle. You can also pinch to zoom inside here. So I can pinch and unpinch, uh, pinch in, pinch out if I need to blow up uh, or zoom in on the uh, puzzle to get a better look. Okay, so let's take a look at the goal here. The goal says we need to use swift commands to tell Byte to move and collect a gem. Uh, Byte loves to collect gems but can't do it alone and we need to write uh, use some commands it says down here we have two commands we can use either move forward uh, or collect gem in some sequence in order to get Byte to move uh, along the path and collect the gem. So let's take a look here and it looks like Byte needs to uh, move forward one space then um, move forward again, which will take him up the stairs uh, to the top platform. And if he moves forward one more time, he'll be right under that gem and he can then collect it. So uh, let's go ahead and write a sequence uh, of commands here. And this sequence of commands acts just like a recipe. So uh, in a recipe, you need to follow the order in which you put ingredients uh, in and uh, in order for the dish to turn out correctly. And we'll need to do the same thing here, write a sequence of commands in order to get uh, Byte to get to his end goal here. So uh, let's go ahead and tap to enter, right where it says tap to enter. Let's tap in there. And uh, first thing I'll do is show you how to get a keyboard up if you'd like to type these commands in. So down here in the bottom right hand corner is a little arrow. If I push that arrow, tap on that arrow, I'm going to get a keyboard to pop up like this. So I've got a keyboard to pop up here and now I can type in my commands. So it looks like if we look at the puzzle I can still see my puzzle here. So I'm going to start just by moving forward three times here. Uh, by the way if you ever need to uh, dismiss your keyboard, make it uh, disappear for a while so that you can get a better look at Byte and his puzzle, you can tap the keyboard button in the bottom right and it'll go away. Okay, then tap again in the bottom right and get the keyboard to pop up. So let's tap it in and let's put in move forward three times here. Let's type those in. Move, shift, forward, Now, if I want to get to the parentheses, notice that there's some parentheses after our command. I need to tap this uh, number key at the bottom left here. So over here is the number key. I'll tap that. And now I can see my open and close parentheses. So I'll tap those, open and close. And now I've got my move forward. Hit return to go to the next line and tap my letter key down in the lower left to go back to the letters. Okay, let's type this again. Move, hold down shift to get an uppercase F. Move forward. Go back to my parentheses. Go back to letters. Let's type move forward again. Move forward okay so I have moved forward in there three times I'm going to dismiss my keyboard make my keyboard go away so that I can watch bite 
And I'm going to press this little triangle here to say run my code. There goes Byte. He's going to move forward one, two, three. And there he is. He's looking up at that gem like he wants to grab it. So let's go ahead and finish this activity by adding a collect gem to the end of this. So bring my keyboard up again. Collect gem. Open close. Dismiss the keyboard and run it one more time. There, Byte did it. And he does his happy dance. So just to review, uh, a sequence of commands is just like a recipe that we need to follow to get Byte to solve his task. And we also learned that we can swipe the puzzle from left to right with our finger. We want to see different parts of the puzzle. And we can zoom in and zoom out by pinching uh, on the screen. So uh, go ahead and good luck and let's move on to the next activity. See you in a bit.